we're back in the attic. So we got a heat pump here. Apparently they've been having to run on emergency heat. Uh, so the strips are working, uh, blower runs, but the outdoor heat pump's not coming on or the outdoor unit. So we're going to go ahead and see what's going on. So first things first, we always check our filter. Looks good on that side. Not so good on that side. So that probably needs to be changed. I probably don't have this size on my truck, but I will double check anyway. And everything seems to be good up here. So let's go outside and see what's going on. Okay, so we got a Vision Pro 8000. We want to go ahead and turn on the heat pump, so we're going to go to test mode. So if you look on the back of it, you can get a password. So we go to menu and then install our options. Select. We'll enter our password. And install our test. And now we can turn things on the way we want. So heat stages, one. So let's go to the outdoor unit and see what's up. Okay, so the heat pump's on, but it's not coming on. So we need to see what's up with that. So let's open her up and see what's going on. Um, so yeah, it looks like we got power. I think that contactor is broken. I'm gonna take a better look. We're, we're gonna kill the power. Okay, so I'm testing the coil and I got 26 volts. Uh, so let me go ahead and pull that off. And that contactor is donezo. All right, cool. Well, let's go ahead and yeah. All right, so we're gonna kill the power. Okay, so we got the contactor out and check it out. It is toast. The contacts are just broken. Look at that. So, yeah. And then I also noticed that, you know, look at this, see? It is just completely toast. So I noticed that one of these wires too is a little bit burnt. So we're gonna strip that back and fix that. So we're going to go ahead and put in a new contactor. Wow, I haven't come across a bad contactor in a while. This one's pretty bad. So let's go grab one from the truck. Okay, so as I've been installing this, I've noticed that every single spade is super loose. Uh, when that happens, that can cause a lot of heat. So that's probably what killed this contactor. So I'm having to go through and tighten every single connection. So we're going to fix that too. Okay, so we got her all in there. All the connections are tightened. I restripped this wire and put it in there so it's all fresh. We're gonna go turn it on and see what happens. Okay, so I did hear the contactor click. We're gonna go ahead and plug her in and see what happens. back up and running uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and check the run cap and everything else uh, while I'm here just so I don't miss anything all right we have heat so it's putting out about 90 degrees and return 74 84 94 20 degrees so it's working good anyway I hope this helps so thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe comment tell me what a horrible technician I am hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook thanks for watching